Here's a close look at a number of T47 bottom brackets available today. Four 30mm spindles, four 24mm spindles. The frame I'm using for the demo is this elegant stainless steel model borrowed from Maxway Cycles, located five minutes down the road from here. Maxway produced models for Jamis, Surly and Raleigh, to name a few. You can think of a T47 BB shell as a threaded PF30 or 46mm shell. I'll start off with the basic internal BB and then the external BB with outboard bearings for the 30mm spindle. The internal BB has a detachable alloy sleeve. Since a T47 shell's diameter is a lot wider compared with the standard BSA threaded shell, correctly seating the cup in the shell is a bit trickier. The cup more easily tracks out of alignment, so be especially vigilant against cross-threading. Recommended torque is from 35 to 45 newtons. Using the custom tool, if you tighten as far as it will go, you'll be a bit over 35 newtons. That's the setup minus the crank bolt. The external or outboard model also has an alloy sleeve. For tightening, we use the T30 bottom bracket tool. A plastic sleeve is an option. Plastic can be drilled to allow for internal cable routing. Enabling a 30mm spindle to accept a 24mm spindle can be done with converters. that's ready for a 24mm spindle. Moving to the standard 24mm T47BB, I'll note the importance of the rubber seal. It's long lasting, but easily replaced if need be. No seal means a lousy fit. The 24mm RT crank fits like so. That's the setup again, minus the crank bolt. Here's a sample of our newest T47 model, a T47 eccentric bottom bracket. We have a custom tool, not shown here, for securing the unit into the BB shell, similar in design to our BSA eccentric bottom bracket tool. Once secure, you loosen the bolts with a 2mm Allen wrench. Adjust for crank height or chain tension Then, re-tighten 